G'day guys, and welcome back. Uh, the plan for today is I've got a small window of opportunity for fishing. Now it's been almost two months since the last time I've been out. Uh, today we're at Botany, and um, as the weather forecast, it's not the best conditions, but uh, I've got a, probably like two to three hours up my sleeve uh, before the weather turns for the worse. So hopefully, um, with the burly going, and uh, we should be on to some fish pretty soon. So we'll check in, we're on to the first one. I just saw the, the line go tight. It was slack and it just went tight like that. And then I picked it up and it's like, yeah, we're right. Yeah, flatty. It's been deep here, it's like 10 meters or something, eh? No, flatty. Oh, look, the king, he chased it. There's a kingy chasing it. <laughs> Mackie's on. Wonder what it is. It didn't even like hit it, it just. Yeah. Ah, oh, flounder. Nice. Got a nice mixed bag today. Alright, so we're going to call it a day now because the weather's just done to turn, the wind's really picking up now. Um, it's been a very slow morning but we ended up with a few fish so um, it's probably just enough for a feed. Now um, I'm going to head back and once again we're going to follow through with another catch and cook. So on the menu we're going to be doing salt and pepper fish so we'll check in once we're in the kitchen.
my favourite part of every year, the tasting. Now, you would have seen in the earlier footage, um, it was a hard slog obtaining all the ingredients for this catch and cook today. But I'm glad I got out there because um, it's been over two months since you know I've last been fishing and it's due to bad weather, a lot of work commitments and every time that I get a bit of the time to go, the weather turns sour. But um, nonetheless, here it is. So just give you a close up on that one. There we've got a lot of, um, couple of brim, the flounder and the trevally. Do that in salt pepper style. The second side dish that I did is also uh, a fish wonton. Now this dish was actually inspired by um, a, re a recipe that I had on my previous road trip to Cairns. Um, it was actually a barramundi spring roll, but you know, being a food alchemist, I thought I'd chop and change a little bit. So uh, without further ado, let's go for tasting. I think I'll go for the wonton first. And this is just a bit of a whole egg may mayonnaise. It should go nicely with that then. Let's get on there. Mmm. Mmm. That is sensational, guys. I think this is probably a 10 out of 10. Um, just, give you a, just a close up on that one. You can see the lovely fresh fish, how flaky it is, and uh, the carrot and the cabbage complements it quite nicely as well. Also, the one ton is uh, nice and crispy as well. have a bit of the brim. I haven't eaten brim in quite some time now. And you would have seen that Tandago um, salt and pepper mix. That's an easy hack. Like you, anyone can do this at home. It's so simple as I demonstrated earlier. Let's just have a close look at that. Mm. So sweet. I'll also give that another 10 as well. So once again guys, I'm gonna be thoroughly enjoying my dinner with my family and until the next video, bye for now.